What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis video. Alright guys, we're going to be doing a guide. I haven't done one of these in quite some time. You guys can see here I cleared the trial of Ifrit and Bahamut very hard. I'm going to focus on that. The EX is whole other ball game. I'm going to have to do that when I get time. Uh, I don't think I personally have the setup or gear for this one, but the very hard mode was fun and challenging enough. So I'm going to show you guys what I did and how I cleared it. Uh, a couple things you want to note here. Uh, you want to bring ice damage for sure. So you want to bring either Tifa, who has ice gloves, brand new cloud weapon, which I don't have, by the way. Uh, so I'm not going to be using that. Tifa is probably going to be the best bet here if you don't have the setup I have uh, with her gloves and anything that can reduce magic attack. Um, so those are going to probably be your primary things. Now I'm using Sephiroth here with Kuja Blade. Uh, and I'm using Sephiroth with uh, Edge Wings with his Ice Outfit. That's going to be my go-to. But if you have the Cloud Ice Ice Fit, honestly, this is going to be a breeze for you guys. But with that being said, uh, definitely bring the uh, element for Ice. And then don't worry about the Sigil phase I've yet to encounter in very hard mode, at least for me. Uh, just keep in mind that um, Ifrit is, in fact, immune to attack down and magic attack down. And he has a perma... Uh, physical attack and magic attack up on him with a, I think it's, I think it's mid for throughout the entire fight. Okay. So Bahamut's the only one that can really be, um, reduced in terms of power. I, I mean, most of the time you're just going to need magic attack. You won't really need to have a uh, physical attack down for him. Uh, so you don't need Kuja's blade. And that's why I said Tifa's probably a better choice anyways, if you have that, uh, with her new, uh, with her new gloves, but edge wings works really well here. Okay. So this is a hectic fight and I'm going to break this down to you. Now, remember Bahamut is in fact not immune, which is ironic to either of those things. So bringing the magic attack down for him for mega flare is important. Now, a couple things for the setup. Um, I'm going to show you guys my setup here and what I did to tackle it. So, uh, let's go through that real quick. So first off, Edge Wings, you guys can see it's OB6. I've got um, Sephiroth's Ice Outfit. If you have Klaus off Ice Fit and, and his, you're set. Even, or Tifa's Outfit and this, you're set. Uh, so I'm using that with Kuja Blade. Like I said, Kuja Blade is not required. I'm just going to use it just to make my life a little easy. But then I'll make a non-Kuja Blade video later on. Uh, I'm using Diamond Dust, of course, as the uh, Summon of Choice. And then I just have some stat sticks here. Essentially, this Aurora is useless, except for the magic that it brings, the magic attack, right? Uh, again, Thunder, useless, brings magic attack. And then this is useless as well, too. These are all high stat sticks for magic attack. And I say high they're not really that high. The main thing to focus on is try to get your HP high enough. That That is important. So I have over 8k HP on Sephiroth specifically so he survives. So I'm using Power Soul here uh, in regards to the gloves. It gives boost HP and magic ability potency up. Uh, this here is just really for the fire resist bonus and the HP does help, believe it or not. So this is not a bad option to go with as well. And then this, <laughs> yes, this is in fact here for the boost HP. Now I could probably use a better boost HP item. That's the one I decided to go with because it did give a little bit of, uh, because of my, the stats that it's at a little bit more for the magic attack that's really what i was trying to raise but if you have better options like honestly the best option for him would have probably been just go buster sword and i should have just done that from the start because this would have raised all of his stats and that's more important than Aerith's stats being raised in this case but i'm going to keep it the same as how i beat it and we'll just we'll talk about it as is okay so that would have actually put out more damage uh let me just quickly go check on Aerith. Uh, I shouldn't even have Buster Sword on her. Who has Buster Sword? Oh, nobody does. Oh, no, Aerith does. Yeah, there she is. Okay, so if I take this out, for example, right? And I her for her main thing, really, it was to have more HP than anybody else. I need her to take the Dive Bomb. That was the reason why I built it this way. But if I were to give her this, she'd still be fine. So, I mean, quite honestly here, let's just do a little swaparoo here. And now Sephiroth has better stats overall, okay, for Magic Attack. So, Kind of build it how you want, but try to get magic attack up. Try to keep him at over 8k HP if you can. All right, going over to Cloud, he's got 9k HP. Now, here you can see here we've got uh, Zidane, uh, which again, I can, if you have the brand new weapon in his outfit, use that instead. I'm using Zidane, Zidane Sword though with the uh, Zidane outfit, and I'm using Bandit Sword. Bandit Sword is a really important one. Now, if you are lucky enough to have an OB6 version of this, you only need to cast it once. For this specific fight, we're going to have to cast it twice, and I'll explain why. Using Cross Slash here um, as my limit, and then using just stat sticks, except for Blizzard Blow. Blizzard Blow is, in fact, there for a reason to do damage on Ifrit. He's going to be your number one focus to get rid of first, okay? Uh, and then sub equipment here, I've got uh, Zang and Gloves. Uh, I've got an OB9. Yes, this is a free-to-play account, believe it or not. And I've got a Mad Minute OB10. Uh, th these, this one I got super, 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 super lucky on. Uh, and then I've got this one, obviously, I've been working over time. Uh, so 3.5k um, for damage and 9.6k for HP. Um, quite honestly, his HP can probably get lowered a little bit if you need to. But I just happen to have everything that gives him HP. So uh, you don't want him dying. You want her to have the most amount of HP so she can take, not most max HP, just most amount of HP so she can take the dive bomb and die, okay? Um, so here we have uh, Aerith, the Chocobo outfit. 
with 9k HP. Uh, Fairy Tail, I've got Prism Rod only specifically for the HP boost. Uh, and then I've got myself all these extra little stat sticks. The main one here to notice is Ice Breach to help with Ifrit. It's very minor, but it's still there to help out a little bit. You guys can see my healing wins is only level 8. i got to get that up. Uh, Blizzard, uh, Blizzera, sorry, and then just a, uh, a Stastic Heal. Don't ever really use this in this fight. I just focus on AoE healing because there's a lot of AoE damage. I've got the Umbrella, the Guard Stick, and I've got myself this little... Uh, wiser staff to boost again boost hp um so that's the setup there and with that we've got ourselves uh 243k uh versus the 210 don't be deceived a lot of this is coming straight from the hp aspect of things right so let's show you guys how this is done and you guys can kind of get a glimpse of how this battle goes so i'm going to walk it step by step here for you guys so the first thing i instantly do is i ice breach ifrit and I do damage on Ifrit. I do only one Blizzard blow or Blizzera blow with Cloud, and I stop there. With Sephiroth, you want to go ahead and do two Aerial Frost, frost Blades if you can. And then you start saving for what matters most, and that is Sanctuary for the first phase. Okay, so here you guys can see here, one Blizzard, blizzard blow is fine. Uh, switch back to Cloud so he doesn't do any more than the one, though. You get any both of those Sanctuaries up, okay? Very important to note that. Now, you can see the cast going. Don't let your AT bar fill up fully, but enough to just do one of these. Now, if you have the Kuja Blade, Sephiroth will automatically cast it himself, even at the last minute. You guys can see here, it's gonna, he's going to start casting it very soon. And you guys can switch over to defense mode uh, to get ready for the first um, Crimson... What's it called? Crimson something? Crimson Ignite, whatever the hell it's called. It's anyways, it's a very, very damaging move and it increases Ifrit's fire damage. That's the main thing to know. Now, remember, I, I mentioned to you guys that Ifrit does not lose his buffs, so don't worry about those buffs. Focus on just doing this part heal. Now, you're gonna switch over to Bahamut here and you're gonna wait, okay? You're gonna wait till he starts doing five right there and then cast this one and this one and you're good to go. That's it. You don't have to worry about this anymore. You are now done with the Mega Flare phase. If you've got enough damage, that should, that should be enough to br bring that down. Now, everything should be focusing like on Ifrit, okay? This is where you're gonna put all of your efforts and bring in down his his bar. Here we go. His Ignite bar, okay? Right here, you're gonna focus on getting that off. He's gonna do Heat Wave. Try to defend through this. It does do some damage. Defense will really help kind of take away some of that. Um, so go ahead here. Let's go ahead into Kiraga. And then from here, your focus, guys, is to reduce this bar down to nothing quickly, okay? And then don't worry about defending this. This is not a big deal. Uh, just focus on pure damage on Ifrit, okay? That's all you're going to really want to do is take him out of this fight as quick as you possibly can. Uh, and don't worry about everything else for Bahamut right now. Bahamut, you're going to leave till last minute. Um, right now, again, everything is all about Crimson Drive. Now, this will hurt a lot, okay? This is going to hurt quite a bit. You guys can see here, it does, it does reduce quite, your damage quite a bit there. Now, here... We're going to go ahead and do Karaga. And then get ready here for a few different things you can do. Okay, I'm going to show you guys real quick here. Umbral Inferno's popping up. Uh, you're going to want to just heal. That's the main thing. So get ready for Cloud um, to take, a, or everybody, take a little bit of damage. Not enough to kill anyone, though. And that's why Cloud the Sanctuary, which is really good. So go ahead and get that done. It reduces everyone's stats. That's the big thing. Now, the, the trick here is... They're going to want you to kind of focus on Bahamut. Don't focus on Bahamut here, okay? Let him get his things out of the way. Just focus on killing Ifrit. This is where all of your efforts are going to lie. Now, ideally, you want to do this move before that Umbral effect goes off because you now are doing way less damage. Uh, but in our case, this is where we're at. So we're going to just focus on healing up here. And then, again, let him do the countdown. Don't worry about the countdown. It's going to happen. You're going to get a Mega Flare no matter what. Okay, so just here, all you're going to do, honestly, guys, is focus on killing killing Ifrit. So Harness Magic, he's a B. I know. He's annoying to deal with, but he's not hard. Okay, you just got to make sure you focus on taking out his main attacks, reducing his bar, and let that Mega Flare count down. Don't let, don't let it intimidate you. I know that's what it's doing for a lot of folks right now. Watching this, you're like, oh, shit, Pain. You're about to take a Mega Flare to the face. Don't worry about it. Let it happen. It's all good in the hood. So again, your main focus is killing this dude off, okay? Mega Flare is, is, is easy, easy to manage. So here, we're going to let him kill that off, okay? Now we're going to focus here. Okay, now, again, we have a few different things we can do. First off, with Sephiroth, you wanna, you're going to Mega Flare eventually, okay? So Or not Mega Flare, sorry. Yeah, Mega Flare. Mega Flare? I forgot what it's called already. We're going to go ahead and do this. Take this hit. 
get full HP. And now it's just a matter of, hey, you know what? We got Cloud. We're going to Sanctuary once. It's not really required, quite honestly. I just kind of wasted that. But here, I did it right wrong time. I was trying to reduce that magic down. So here, we're going to go ahead and do this. Kuja, Kuja, uh, Kuja Blade is going to reduce his magic attack. We're going to focus on getting our magic defense up. By the time the, the Mega Flare pops up, we should be okay to go here. She should be down to almost nothing at this point as well, okay? So keep that in mind. Here we go. Get ready. There we go. So now we're, we're golden, right? Everyone's maxed out on magic defense. And then Mega Flare is down to no magic attack. That's where, where most of the damage comes from. And you guys can see here, it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy at that point, okay? Now the next part that's going to matter is the fact that he's going to start doing something else that's really annoying. And that is doing his Dive Bomb. Now Dive Bomb will one-shot the person with the highest HP. Dark Aura is coming up. Okay, here we go. You guys can see the physical attack up now, right? So no matter what at this point, we're kind of in the situation where you want Dive Bomb to hit her. Okay, so don't worry about this. Let it happen. Just focus on getting everyone's HP up. And then from here, you guys just focus on DPSing. Don't even worry about saving her. She's not savable. <laughs> She's not salvageable. Uh, you can go ahead and cast this if you want. Again, you could save it also for the Mega Flare part. Not really required in this case. I'm just trying to put out as much damage. I want to actually try to get into red as much as I can before the 5 count. And that way we just have 5 seconds to deal with. But in this case, it's fine. You can just continue doing this. Uh, I mean, go to defense mode, obviously. Give her a little bit of grace here. Sorry, Aerith. I love you. But uh, you're dead. So, she dies. Again, not a huge deal. Uh, just switch back. And then right here, all you're going to do, guys, is you're going to focus on DPSing. Get him to red as quick as you possibly can. Not the end of the world, taking a hit like that last time. And then just focus on DPS, 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 okay? And then from this, it's, it's just pretty much straightforward. It's just kill him as, as fast as you can before he does his Dark Aura and does his next Mega Flare, and then it's game over for you, or it's game over for him. It's like do or die situation, right? Here we go. Just do this cross slash. One, two, three. And then from here, you can probably end it with whatever the hell you want to end it with. Block. Oh, that's, that's, that's a bummer. That's, a, that's an awesome way to die, actually. So there you guys go. Very hard mode completed. Again, the main pocket focus here is Ifrit. Like, you got to get him down. Take the Mega Flare to the face the first time. It's a joke. It's, it's, you'll survive it. The biggest thing, of course, is having to get yourself... Just an A, really. Um, get yourself a... Um, I guess because... Uh, what's her name? Aerith died. Uh, get, get yourself Aerith as the most HP for the die bomb. Make sure she takes that so your two DPS survive and you guys can just take it out at that point. Um, that's pretty much it. There you guys go. If you have any comments or questions, let me know. But that was my free-to-play version of this fight. Uh, again, again, I'm using Zidane Sword, but I don't have the Limit Break weapon, which I think is actually a way better option for this fight. So um, I will make another guide for this without any of those Final Fantasy IX weapons uh, and maybe using Tifa instead. Uh, but again, for me personally, like... I think this fight is a lot of fun. It's really doable. The EX1 version I've seen, it's a nightmare. So I don't know if I'll be getting that done anytime soon. But I, for when I start summoning for clouds, weapons, and outfit, that may be a whole different story at that point. All right, guys. Paint. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.